you follow my bed level video, you get those perfect squares. You go to print your first print and it sticks fine. But then after a while, the prints start popping off. People tell you to clean it. People tell you to try a different bed material. You know what my secret is? Glue stick. I'll explain it all on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. Now just the fact that I mentioned glue stick, there's probably people running to Facebook right now to bash the heck out of me. Oh my God, this is as bad as the guy who said you can use a raft. Mm, that was me too. But I like glue stick. I use it all the time. Not a ton. One swipe on my bed, my problems go away. Now some people will tell you if your prints aren't sticking, you need a new bed surface. And they'll suggest things like a PEI coated bed. That's maybe metal that you can flex. And these work pretty good, but they'll also tell you you need to rough it up with steel wool once in a while. Or they'll tell you get some build tack type material, because this stuff does work really good when it's new, but it wears out over time. Or they'll tell you just get a new glass bed with an improved surface. Yours is probably wore out. Even if you've washed it and cleaned it, it doesn't work. Get a new one with a new bed surface, and that does help but then it wears out. Now, I'm not saying that any of these are bad advice. In fact, you may like them. If you can afford it, try it. Maybe you'll like that metal PEI sheet, but there's issues with all of them. Like the PEI sheet, many people say you need to rough it up with steel wool. Or if you look closely in this video, you can probably see I got fingerprints all over it. The oil for my fingerprints have to be cleaned off. So I'm gonna have to clean this with IPA, isopropyl alcohol, or soapy water to get that off before I print. And then sometimes things stick too well to this and you can't get the prints off. Or if you do, you may tear the surface of the PEI. That can happen on glass as well. I've seen where glass actually separated and you took chips out of the glass because the print stuck too well. That's where glue stick is actually a benefit. Because you put the glue stick on there, the print's going to stick to the glue stick, which then can be released with water. So it easily comes off, either the glass or the PEI sheet. So it's still a good thing to have. In fact, my Prusa mini bed has two sides. One side, I don't use a glue stick, and the other side I do. This is glue stick residue that I need to wash off, and then I'll put one more layer on it. Now, I'm not claiming a glue stick is a cure-all. If you need to put more than one swipe on your bed to get things to stick, then you've got other problems. Either your bed temp isn't high enough, your filament temperature is too low, or You've got your bed not properly leveled or you've got bad filament or it's loaded with moisture and needs to be dried out. Any of those things can affect it. So one swipe is all I recommend. Beyond that, it's too much glue. If you've watched the channel for a while, you know I've mentioned about glue sticks before, but this is a perfect example. This is an Ender 3 that had a bed that was pretty much wore out. And when I ran a bed level test, you could see the square at the back in the middle and the one at the front in the middle just wouldn't stick and the bed was perfectly level. One swipe of glue stick, and they come up perfect. So, will I replace that bed? Yes. For now, I'll use a glue stick. There are several products out there that are like glue sticks that you can wipe on your bed, and it makes your print stick. Some work better with PLA, some better with PETG. I've tried a lot of them, and I still come back to Avery Permanent Glue Stick. And that's why we include this, this small sample, in my Filament Friday toolkit because it's one of the tools that I use in 3D printing so that way you get to try it out. But why permanent? Some people don't like the permanent glue stick. Some people like to go with the Elmer's Purple and the big reason is it's washable. It says in big letters washable. It goes on purple and dries clear. But the fact is none of these are permanent. They may be permanent on paper but not on a 3D print. In fact, Elmer's makes a permanent glue stick just like Avery. And it says in the fine print down here, washable. In fact, on the back it says clean up. Wipe excess with a damp cloth. If necessary, soap and water may be used. So even the permanent stuff washes right off. But the permanent stuff in both these brands stick really well to the prints and hold the prints. Now some people have their own methods. Some swear by hairspray. I've tried it. The problem I have is it gets everywhere. You spray it, but the overspray gets on all different stuff and then it's like sticky to the touch. I hate that. Where the glue stick, I can put it exactly where I want. In fact, I've had prints that'll start to lift. I take the glue stick, slide it underneath there, hold the print down so it holds 
and then let the print go. And it saved several prints just by using a little bit of glue stick. Now I buy the Avery glue stick in the bigger size like this and I buy them in bulk. Sometimes it's hard to get on Amazon. I'll put a link to the ones I buy in the description below. But I went to Staples one day and they had these large size glue sticks, eight of them in a pack for $4.99. It was on sale. That's less than a dollar a stick. Now I'll admit it's not as good as my Avery glue stick, but it's worked pretty well and it's a great backup. So sometimes you can find a great deal on these. Less than a buck for what it does to my 3D prints, well worth the money. So how do these glue sticks work? Well, I've read that most of them contain some form of PVA, which is a glue that dissolves in water. Well, if you've heard of PVA, it's probably because there is PVA filament that you can buy that people use to print supports. So they'll print two different materials. One is their actual print, and the other one is the support printed with the PVA filament. And then afterwards, you take your print, you put it under water, and the PVA filament dissolves away, leaving just your print. So that's why most of these glue sticks will dissolve, because they contain PVA and they'll dissolve with water. Now, I'm no chemist, so I don't know all the details, but almost every one of these that I've used, except the real cheap dollar store ones, all say conform to ASTM D-4236. So there is some kind of standard for these glues, so it's safe, and almost all of these glue sticks conform to that same standard. Now, sometimes I've used glue stick in my videos and probably should have mentioned it. For example, there was one case where I printed a two color print. I printed one color with one file, and then I said I walked away and came back, changed the filament, and printed the second file right on top of it for a two color print. And then I got questions in the comments, how did you do that and get it to stick once the bed cooled off when you walked away? <laughs> Well, the one perfect example is this Voxelab Aquila. The glass bed on this worked for about 50 or 60 prints, and then, frankly, it just wore out. It is not nearly as rough as the Creality Carborundum top. It's pretty much smooth. So I had to use glue stick on it. This thing is perfectly flat. It's leveled really good. So one swipe of glue stick, I get five, six prints out of it. Then I'll clean it off and one swipe again and it's been printing beautifully so in this case rather than replace the bed i just use glue stick and you say but you got to do that every five to six prints well people tell me i got to rough this up with steel wool or i got to clean a glass bed with soapy water or ipa it's like what's the difference if i'm wiping that or wiping that it's the same motion so i like the glue stick works for me I know this is one of those topics that separate people. Some people are totally against it. Some people use it all the time. I know I've had many beginners come to me and say, I've used your leveling technique. I got my bed leveled. I have printed a couple things that was good, but then they started to pop off. What should I do? And I said, just use a swipe of glue stick. See if it helps. And almost every case, they're like, oh my God, that was so great. That was so helpful. I'm going to use it all the time. So I do still recommend it. I just don't really push it. What's your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. And if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.